Hello and welcome to another tutorial by Popcorn1010. That's me. Um, recently I just uploaded a video that contained um, basically the making of how I colored this picture right here. Um, I am, these, these pictures are actually uh, line arted um, traditionally, which basically means, you know, I drew them on paper, uh, inked it, basically, you know, all that non fancy stuff. Well, I decided to probably do a, not necessarily a tutorial, well, it kind of is, but more of like just a, what I do to color these pictures exactly, since some people didn't understand what I was doing with the uh, Fox one. So what I'm going to do first is, see, I scan this, so it's just going to be a picture. I scan with grayscale, so there's no color or anything when I scan it. Um, it's just, you're just going to get like a one layer picture, everyone's used to this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to color grayscale here, which is the, actually the name of my character as well. I'm going to select the area. I'm going to go edit, copy, and be, I'm copying this because I'm going to make a new um, image so I can color it separately without these two being here. Also you always want to separate your line art which makes it a lot easier when you're doing this. So okay, let's go on to that. I'm going to define brush. I'm going to name this brush grayscale. Well, I'm doing this is because it's going to have its own brush so I can just paste onto an A layer. Okay, now I'll make a new thing. Make a new layer this time. Now you go to your brushes and select your grayscale one. And you can simply just paste it on like that. And that really helps out because now the image is separated from the background and that makes it so much easier to work with. Okay, I'm gonna move this a little bit since it's a little bit crooked. Okay. okay. Alright, first things first, I color the background, um, well you can color your background whatever you want, you don't necessarily have to do this, but I do this so I know what I've colored, and because I don't use purple a lot, and it's, I don't know, I personally kind of like the color purple, hold on, oh yeah, you're also going to change your mode to um, RGB color, and don't flatten, okay, I like to use purple normally because it's calm, um, not, just, not really calm, but I just kind of like it, okay, so now I have my line art, and I have my background layer, what I'm going to do is make a new layer under the line art. I like to color that. I like to name that um, block color, which is basically where I just color everything that's going to be colored in. So I just get a brush here. What I like to do sometimes is I'll. What I do is I select everything that's not the picture, and then I go to inverse. So it's actually selecting just the picture. Go to block color, and I just fill it in. And normally you choose the color that you're not going to use. Okay. I'm going to contract a little bit by two pixels. Now I'm going to do this. Okay. And some of the um, the block color is not what I want. Like right here, just a little bit of the background. Someone's going to erase that. Block color is, like, what I do is I just color everything that's going to be colored, so I know what I'm working with, and I can just um, lock the transparency so I don't mess with the background or anything. I can mess with the background once I'm done. So now I'm just erasing little bits that I missed. Okay, now I have my block color. This is going to be the ultimate color thing thing here. I make a new layer, and I always group with previous layer. Um, let's call this one. Let's just color the white in first of grayscale. So now this is actually connected to this, so I can simply just color, and it only colors in the block, and that's a lot. It's really helpful. So I'm just going to color everything that's white, 